This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello guys and welcome to this Let's Play of Flames 4th Edition. And we're going to be playing a little bit of Stalingrad-esque sort of yeah. fighting. And you'll have seen hopefully in the B-roll some of the armies that we have here. So I'm rolling, uh, if I can get a good camera shot here down on our table. I have three Panzer threes. these are up armoured. Uh, they're not on the model, but they are up armoured with a long 50. I have my platoon commander hiding away here in a Panzer IV with a long 75. I then have another platoon over here which is two Panzer IVs, one short barrel, one long barrel. And in the field way over here, I have four 105 howitzers which can fire either direct line of sight or they can fire in a salvo sort of artillery roll. Freddy, you are running the Russians. I've got so the Russians. What, what have you got? What I've got is a mixed tank company. Yep. So I've got the... The Soviets aren't using formation commanders because it's a mixed company. It's a hodgepodge unit that, that we're using as a strike force. Mm -hmm. I've got, moving from left to right, I've got three early T T34s mm -hmm. armed with 76mm guns. Yep. A bit of an all-round tank. Next to them, I've, I've got three KV-1s, which yep. are the heavy breakthrough tank. Yep, they're a monster. They're an absolute monster and backed up we've got a defensive of uh, the anti-tank company, mm -hmm. which are 76mm um, anti-tank guns. The same, same gun from the, the tanks, yep. but on, on a carriage. Yeah. So we've done our setup. We've decided that you're going to be playing the attacker in this role, and yeah. I'm the, the defender. Let's so, just go straight in. Yeah, absolutely. This is a, an annihilation mission. That's what I was going to say. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> so basically, I need to push... The Germans out of the outskirts of Stalingrad. Um, the Germans are trying to gain, gain a foothold. So, first of all, we're going to go um, into the into the movement phase. Okay. Um, I want to move forward, but I want to be able to fire because the, the Soviet tanks aren't good at moving and firing. They're a, a bit overworked in the tanks. Yeah. So first of all, I'm going to use a blitz move. So I've got a roll to see uh, with a skill test. I need to find out whether I can. Move, um, move quickly. So the blitz, I need a five plus, so I've done it. Mm -hmm. So I can move now four inches, which will allow me to kind of shunt forward. So it's the, the platoon commander saying to his guys, right, we're going we're gonna to move forward now. Um, we're going to hit those Panzer fours. I've moved forward. If I don't move any farther, it means I'm firing as if I'm static, yeah. but I'm a bit greedy ground-wise. Mm-hmm. So I want to move a little bit farther. So I'm going to make uh, my tactical, uh, sorry, my, my dash move is going to put me over here. Where I've now got my tanks in a firing line. I'm going to do the same with the KVs are just going to creep forward mm -hmm. normally. So you're just using a tactical move. Just moving a tactical forward. move, which is like eight inches. We're going over, over rocks and bits of, Damaged building and bodies and stuff. <laughs> um, sorry. A bit grim. A bit yeah, grim. Yeah, yeah. That's um, fine. Okay, so we're now going to go on to firing. All right. And I've got my anti tank guns. Which are, let me see. You're going to be looking at the Panzer threes. Yeah. So Panzer threes are currently here, and your anti tank guns are lined up here. But I'm within 16 inches, so it's not going to degrade my um, penetration ability. Okay. However, you are concealed, so I'm yeah. adding one to hit the target. So, John, what's using your card, What's uh, what target type are you? Uh, what do you mean, what target type? <laughs> it, 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 it'll be your hit-on. There's oh, a yeah. hit-on number on, my, on the top of the card. My hit-on is 4+. plus. Right, so be, um, I'm hitting you on 4s. Mm -hmm. So my the target is the right-hand vehicle. Okay, so you're looking right at this looking. one as the target yeah. because you've got two guns that are fairly clear line of sight to that. Yeah. So, yeah, go for it and see what happens. Okay. So, two shots. Four shots, sorry. Four shots. The guns are firing two shots each. Yep, so you're hitting on a four, which yeah. means you've hit once. I've only hit once. These guys, I think the Commissar needs to come over and have a word with these guys about their, <laughs> their, their weapon skills. Yep. Absolutely shocking. So I've hit you once. Uh-huh. 
what happens now is I'm assigning, I've assigned that. Yep, so that you're far assigning vehicle. this vehicle as the one that's being hit. Now, we've got a thing called the mistaken target rule mm -hmm. that um, if these were different vehicles, you could try and shunt that, but these are all the same type of tank, so you're just going to be rolling to defeat the, um, the penetration of my, my vehicle. So right. my anti tank is nine. It's nine, and my front armor is six. So you, all you do now is roll a d6. Yep, so ho hoping for a four and up. Yeah. To just bounce it. And to bounce it off. It. Okay. Oh, no. A three, which actually, that's now a... Um, it's equal to... It's equaled. So it means that the shots hit... The, the, John will explain spalling probably on another video, but it means that the guys inside have heard a loud bang. Yep. They don't know if the guy on the back's dropped something or whether a round's come through. So you need to, to roll now to see whether your guys are... A, 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 sorry, it's a firepower test for me it's to firepower roll. firepower for you, yep. To see whether that round has actually caused any panic. Okay. So one. I've got a one, which it doesn't beat my, my firepower. So John's guys are like, nah, don't worry about that. It's just bounced <laughs> off. Um, I've now, we now go on to the KVs. Mm -hmm. And I've got only two of my vehicles can see. Yep, so you have this Panzer IV, my platoon commander here. And up this straight, we have this KV in the middle and this KV on the wing here, which can get... A decent line of sight to him. Yeah. So we'll roll these individually. All right. Um, you can roll if you've got everyone's firing at this because teams pick individual targets. Yeah. If the guys are all firing, it's not obstructed, not a problem. But because one's got clear line of sight and the other one hasn't, mm -hmm. he's going to fire normally. Right. So you're there. Uh, that's not done your hit on. No. Nope. The other vehicle is going to add one because that's a, a, conce a concealed target. Okay. So you're hit on four. Yep, so two hits. Yeah. Well, no, no, because you're, we're adding oh, one, one because it's one, concealed. So, it's so only one of those went through. Yeah, okay. Um, so we, we do, again, with the, the front armour, it's the same anti-tank rating of nine. Okay. Uh, my front armour on the Panzer IV is only five. Yeah. So so you need a four plus to um, for, for me to only be able to bail you out. Yeah. Five plus and you're fine. No. It went through, I think. Yeah, that went that, through. That went through. So that's a firepower test. So the firepower test was three, and you need... Yeah, the firepower test is three. My okay. firepower is a three plus, so that basically means the round has gone through the front of his tank. Yes. And it's really wrecked their weekend. Yep. Tank's now destroyed. Mm-hmm. So my platoon commander is gone before we've realised, so yeah, yeah. I'll just roll him over. So the guys on the uh, over the, uh, over with, with the artillery are now smelling barbecue. So ah, yep. oh, Fritz is cooking up. <laughs> um, right, we're now down to my other T thirty fours. I've got two with clear line of sight. Yep. And again, one of them with a concealed. So we're firing. Uh, these guys have have moved. So it's one one round for each tank. Yep. So these two here, all th wait, yeah, all three can yeah can see the the. So the that's backwards. one round for each. Yep. These two have got clear. Yep. So, no, that's not no. hit you. And the other guy with the concealed shot. No. no. So th none of those have hit. Good. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to put some cotton wool on him, I think. <laughs> okay. So that's now the end of my turn, John. Right. So that's over to you. Over to me. I will now get to respond. Uh, so... On to my movement. I've lost my platoon commander who's in the middle here from your shooting. And it's time for me to decide what I'm going to move, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have a bunch of Panzer threes down here who are currently sat in line of sight of these anti-tank guns. That cannot stand. We're going to do a tactical move on them of 10 inches. And what I would like to do is charge them up this street down the throat of these KV-1s. Because that just seems awesome to me. <laughs> See again, especially with this, with the terrain, it's just cinematic moments. Yeah. Um, you can actually visualise these Germans trying to get out of the way of the um, the panel beaters. Yeah. On the on the, the Soviet right flank. Yeah. And then coming down the street, and suddenly you're confronted with three KV ones. Exactly. So they've pulled back from this because they they got a big clang here, and they've come round into the street and went, oh no. Oops. So. 
I think that's all the movement I want to do. Will I go, do I go on to shooting, or can I handle artillery now? Or when? Well, when we, will we, now that we're on to the shooting phase, um, yeah, you've got artillery, so let's just showcase the, the artillery rules. Sure. So the, the battery that I'm talking about is hiding up here in the field. Um, I'm wanting them to drop some fire onto these T-34s over here. But I need to designate a team yeah. in here to a be the spotter. Team. So at the minute, Panzer threes can't see. But this Panzer IV over here, the short-barreled one, if I can get a, a closer shot on them. No, I can't from that angle. From that angle, I can. So from here, this Panzer IV short can see this platoon over here. More, yeah, well, yeah, he can. He yeah. can see them pretty clearly. So I need to do a ranged in. Yeah, so you, you've designated the target. Yep. We've ascertained that the, um, the artillery battery is within range of that target. So all we do is we rotate our firing teams so that they're at the firing teams are all now paint pointing mm -hmm. at, well, the, uh, so at the at the, gonna, the soviet tanks they're just going to rotate it around a little bit which is fine we've uh, designated the, the 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 team that we're aiming at now this is where we can showcase the um the new uh artillery template that yep. we've got which is um but we need to range in first yeah so to range in we have three attempts i think that's a first attempt Success. Yeah, first attempt success. Um, basically, if you if you do it on the first attempt, it's fine. If you do it on the second attempt, it's plus one to hit individual teams. If you do it on the second attempt, it's plus two. But it also means that if you've got more than one artillery battery, mm -hmm. that team would be able to range in the first the first battery. Yeah. He can then go to range the second battery, but they would then be on plus one if they manage it on the first yeah. first attempt. You could then range in a third battery, mm -hmm. or try to, if you didn't range in with the second battery on the first attempt, range in on the second. Yeah. So, on to this. Absolutely awesome. Um, actually, as you can see from the template, six inches is the smaller um, of the inner template, which yep. is normal artillery. The outside, as we were mentioning about rockets, katuses and nebelwerfers, my, the larger template is the um, that's the grid square remover, yeah, which can absolutely devastate the table, especially with infantry. Mm -hmm. So, so let's lay it down, and then we, we rotate the top edge so that it's in line well, with the battery. Let's, let's make sure actually the template says yeah, firing back that way. So, okay, and we're gonna de we've we've designated this guy. Yeah. So, so we've got all three teams mm -hmm. are underneath that template. No problem. So we can now open fire on them. Yeah. So let's... Uh, if we work from left to right. Yep. So, so team one. Team one. Uh, that was a four, so that's a hit. Yep. The second one, that's, a, that's definitely a hit. Yeah. And the third one, that's a miss. Okay, so the platoon commander's fine. So mm -hmm. I'm going to... Now it's, I'm rolling saves. It's the same as normal shooting, but we're using the armor rating yep. of the top of the tank. So this team saved. His armor rating's one. Yep. And we're adding the, the dice. Okay, so the, the second team. Uh, that's two. Two, which brings them up to three. My anti tank rating is three. So yeah, now it's a firepower test to see if you can bail this guy out. Okay. Four. And my. Yeah, uh, that's, that's him bailed. Yep. Fire, my firepower is three plus. Yeah. So this guy. I'm going to need to remount him before I can do anything next turn. Yep. So that's the artillery done. Yeah. We build so one guy. Now we go on to um, standard shooting. Now we've been he's this they've been hit twice so yeah. far. So there's a bit of a bit of a shakes. We've still got the two pans of fours at the end of the street, which yep. um, I we're, believe haven't moved. They haven't moved. So they're going to be on full firepower rating. They are. Yep. So we're going to fire with the short first. Yeah. Uh, so he'll be taking his two shots. Okay. Uh, let me see on his short, short direct fire. We have fire two anti tank seven, so okay. it's not too bad. And he's within range. Yep. And wh wh which um, which team is he going for? He's going to be aiming for oh, the, the platoon commander. Platoon commander. Okay. Here. So let's roll the two dice. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you are hit on. Two. I'm hit on twos because my guy is a reckless. Yeah. So I've landed two hits with the the short barrel gun. Yeah. So. What I'm gonna so that's two hits here. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, which I'll assign to here and here. One of which has got to be the target that you picked, and then I can pick another another target because we we've got we've got to even the, the shots out. Yeah. Okay, so your other tank. All right. So the long barrel. Uh, again, you're you're hit on two, so it's just a simple roll. Two more hits. Two more hits. Right. If I because this is a different weapon. Mm -hmm. If I can, we use these dice. One has to go on, on the, the target, yep. and one on another target. Now, what I can do is is use a thing called the mistaken target rule, mm -hmm. whereby because we've got, I, I want to keep my platoon commander safe. I don't want him to, to get zapped. Yeah. So I'm going to take a test to see if I can switch these shots because okay. one of these is a long barrel, and it's not not good for you to take the that shot against my platoon commander. So on a three plus. Which I get. Yep. I can now switch targets. I can't switch it with this one because this is out of um, out of line of sight. But yep. I can certainly switch it with that one that's bailed. Mm -hmm. Um. Now it's purely a matter of me taking saves. Yeah. So I've got. We'll take a save from this one. He's cool. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Save from this one. Platoon commander's safe. Yep. Now the two saves from the the T thirty four. So we've got one which is with the short barrel. Fine. Yeah. And now the long, the long barrel. barrel. Three. Three. And your anti tank is uh, on the long barrel. Uh, the anti tank is ten. Ten. So that's really not good. No. He's destroyed anyway, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, you, all you need to do is, is roll up a firepower. Yep. And the firepower for my long barrel is three plus. Yeah. So here's hoping. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> now, that, that, an interesting point is that this vehicle was already bailed out. Yeah. Had you fluffed that roll and got a two on the firepower test, which would have been me bailed out, that would have still been destroyed. Yeah. Um, if you've got a tar yeah, if you've got twice. A, yeah, bailed out twice. They've gone. Nah, we're not getting back in that vehicle. It's still smouldering. We're yeah. off. Um, but he's dead anyway. Um, can't remove the turret on that one. Yeah, we'll get some cotton wool. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, um, yeah, for the bleeding wounds inside the tank, I should think. Right. So <laughs> we've now got your Panzer threes. Panzer, Panzer threes. Yep. So we have my Panzer threes, which are now hiding down the street. There's three of them here, but only two can see the target uh, ahead of them. So they can, the two front ones can see all three KVs, but they're going to designate this one here because it's more out in the open. Yeah, okay. So they have moved, yep. so it's rate of fire one. Yeah. So we'll take our two shots at the same time because they'll be the same thing. We're still yeah. hitting on twos. I mean, really, we only need to worry if it's either different armor or a different firepower on a, yep. on a weapon. But So two plus, both hit. Yeah. Which is absolutely fine. So... One to each, I would imagine. One to each of these two here. Yeah. I would have. Yeah. And there's not really any point in uh, the platoon commander is the um, the one at the rear. Yeah. Um, what we'll do is we'll take the save for left hand vehicle first. Okay. Got a five. Five. Um, adding that to my front armor of nine. Nine. Yeah. So that's that's okay. Yeah. These guys <laughs> are they're kind of not they're not even worried. They're drinking their brews. Yeah. Not fast. Next is a three. Three. Ten and twelve. That's twelve, which I think is kind of anti tank nine on the Panzer three. These things are an absolute beast. Yep. Um, okay, so that's cool. They've managed to shrug those those hits off. Yep. So that is all my shooting, and that is the end of turn Sh one. Yeah. So into turn two, uh we've lost one tank apiece, except the one tank I lost was a bit more important than the yeah. tank you lost. Uh, yeah, slightly. Uh, my platoon commander, of all things. Uh, not not putting on a good show so far, am I? Yeah. Uh, so it's over to you now to sort out what you need to do for your turn. Yeah, now, interestingly, um, you've lost your formation commander. If you've got a, a, a team of the same type within six inches, you can move that. You can take a, On a three plus, you'll switch yeah. that to another vehicle. Mm-hmm. So um, am I within six? I would I imagine think, I am. I pretty much think you are. Yeah. 
So I'm within six of these two yeah. up here. So on a three plus, he'll just get out of that vehicle and get into it and, and say, right, get out, I'm commandeering this tank. Okay, so let's try it. No. No. Okay, so you've met, you, we're going to have a, uh, later on with the formation start taking more hits. It's going to, it may cause that a little problem. That will play on it a bit. Yeah. Right. Okay, so um, my turn one, uh, sorry, my turn two. Um, I've lost the vehicle, yep. but I'm still in good spirits. As long as you've got two uh, tank teams in the same unit, mm -hmm. you're fine. Once, yep. I, once I get down to one, I'm going to have to start taking tests. But these guys are cool at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got no targets for the, uh, the anti-tank weapons, so yep. they're just going to sit where they are. Um, I don't need to move because I've got enough targets. And I, the Soviets have got a problem. If you're driving around, as, as we covered earlier on, the Soviets, their vehicles have got an overworked rule, which yep. means that you're at, I'm adding one. Not only am I down to one shot when I'm moving, but I'm adding ones to, to them, the dice which was a bit of a, a problem for me earlier. But um, So I'm going to sit where I am. Mm-hmm. And fire. So we'll open up with the, the T-34s first. Okay. And I'm going to pick the... Uh, I can't really see the long barrel that well with this team. Yeah, but you can see the short with both. Yeah. So I'm going to go... He's going to fire at the uh, the short barrel first. Okay. With two shots. Right. And I'm hitting you on, I believe, a four. A four. So one hit. Yeah, one hit. Okay. So that's the short barrel. So one hit on the short barrel. Yeah. And then we're going to go for the uh, the long barrel now with the platoon commander's tank. Two hits. And that's two hits. So that's now two, but then they're spread evenly. Yeah, they're so spread evenly. One so one will go on the long, and then one would yeah go over to the now, short. Now I believe isn't one of those a, t a commander's tank? Uh, we'll commander. say we'll say the long barrel is. <clears throat> okay, so in this instance, you could again you could, mistaken target. You could switch so. You, we don't need, unless you want to try it with the other vehicle, if you've got no. a better armoured vehicle with these mixed platoons. Yeah. So, it's just armour saves now. Okay. So, so, I'll try the single one on the long barrel. Yeah. Uh, his front armour is five. My anti-tank rating is nine. Right. No. Ouch. Failed. Really not good. So, no. that's a firepower test. Yep, go for it. Oh, let, let, let's roll that again no. in there. That, that, that was, was a three. three. Okay, yep. so that's he's um dead ski. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We're not doing so good today. Let's pull that turret off. Put that to the side. And I'll put one of my nice shiny red D twenties on the top, yeah. so I know. <laughs> okay, next one who has so, two hits on him. Uh, so yeah, so you, they're both going to be the same type of hit. Yeah. So, can I roll them simultaneously? Yeah, if you yeah. want, you can do it any way you want. I mean, both while you're learning, I would suggest doing things one at a time, but pretty yeah. much you'll get the hang of it. Um, you can either use different colored dice or, or just roll them one at a time for each of those individual hits. Yeah, but they're both the same type of tank shooting at it. Yeah, so, so it's, it's not going to affect the firepower. No. So, five is the front armor again, and you're anti tank nine. Yes. So, I need a four to bail, five to five stay to, alive. Yeah. Well, one went through and one didn't. Yeah. So, so here we go for the Christian Bale. One didn't happen. So you guys are pretty much they're pretty cool. They're probably cowering a bit and shaking, but they're, yeah, they're, they're scared because now they're the only one there. Yeah, which is this is where we're going to get the problem next yep. turn. Um, yep. Right, so KVs. I'm just going to lob everything downrange. At these all three. Guys. I don't know which one's the platoon commander, but we'll. Well, uh, well, I'm going to tell you it's the one at the back. Yeah, okay, that's cool, Leo. So let's, all three vehicles, they've not moved, so I'm throwing six shots yeah. down range. Okay. And I'm hit on four. You hit on four, so let's get the uh, two misses four out hits. of the way, which means that those are going to lap round, so one of those is going to have two hits. Yeah, yeah. so we'll just, uh, if I, I'll just take my dice, and we'll put... I mean, I'm, I'm going to pick the two hits onto the platoon commander. Okay, so you're going to put the two hits yeah. on the guy at the back. So we can now showcase the mistaken target. Okay. Um, so you now can decide to get that those two hits and switch them yep. with another target of the same type within six inches. Okay, so I have two tanks here which I can switch with. Yeah. So I'll pick this guy that's kind of just out of sight on the camera here, but we'll show him, we've yeah. shown him before. So he's up here. 
Uh, I need a skill check for that. Yeah. That, well, no, no. It's just a straight. No, just it's always straight. a three. It'll always be a three plus. Okay. No. No. Okay. So it stays. Now, with a larger unit, especially with the Soviets, had you done that and switched, you can keep doing that. Yeah. Up until you fail that three plus, you could keep. You can't switch for the for um for the same vehicle twice, but you can just keep. Yeah. Filtering it out. Okay, so we'll we'll just go through to the um. So it saves for. Yeah, this guy. and it's it's still um my firepower is nine. Okay, uh, my. And I think your front armor isn't it? Six. six. Yeah. So it's actually better than the Panzer four. Yeah, because these are obviously up armored. No. So first one's gone through at the front. So roll your firepower. Oh, so beautiful! Boom. Okay. Uh, my second Panzer three. Oh dear. So he failed as well. Yeah, that's not good. Boom. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, that one was a was a equal. Right. Okay. So that was a fire. So he's now bailed. He's bailed instead of he's destroyed. bailed out. So I will take this one from the front. Sorry, and I'll rip yeah. his turret off. Okay. Give him a nice shiny D twenty. <laughs> yeah. No, he's only bailed. He's not destroyed, isn't he? No, no one's destroyed and one's bailed. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Sorry, that's so, the destruction. Yeah. So, so this one at the front is. So now it's the platoon commander at the back that's taken several panel beating hits. Yep. Uh, so I need fives to bail and sixes to yeah. save life. Ooh, so one went through. So one's a firepower and one's saved. Yeah. So let's, let's see what you can do. Uh, what is your firepower? My firepower is three plus. So you've beat that. So it is actually destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is that's something that's dead ski. Wow. Okay. I've messed this up. <laughs> What's gone wrong? What's gone wrong? I, yeah. I can tell you straight away well, is that I charged Panzer threes down the alley against KV ones. <laughs> and we've also got a bit of a problem now, um, as you'll see in a moment. So that's all of your shooting done. That's all of your shooting done. Uh, so yeah, that's all of my shooting done. Yeah. Um, these haven't got any targets, no. so that's now the end of my turn two. Yeah, so it's over to me. Over to what, you now. Whatever the heck I can do. Yeah. Now, the problem is I'm faced with having two active tanks. Now, the problem is, we first of all, you've got to roll to remount any bailed vehicles first. Uh, so one, actually, currently one is bailed, so yeah. I need to try and mount that. To re yeah, remount. Skill check, um, it's three plus. So it's not too bad. Yeah. He gets back in. Uh, sometimes on the cards you'll have a um the remount will be slightly different to the normal the normal um morale. It's three plus anyway. Yeah, so yeah. some of them just want want to be aware of because some some guys if you get things like wet ammo racks, they'll they'll get back in. So he's yep. now back in. So interestingly now we're looking at um tests for formations. Now He's now lost two of his buddies, so he's yep. not going to stick around, no. to be honest. Um, so he's going to have to take a last man standing test. Yeah. So what is my last Unless man? Unless you've got last man on there. Uh, last stand, three plus, is what it says here. Well, there you go. So, yeah. So on a three plus, he'll, he'll, he'll stay there. Okay. Um, if not, he's going to off ski. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> He's a very brave guy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We've also got this guy back here. He's yep. on a last stand test. All right, so Panzer IV, he's still three plus as well yeah, because yeah. They're, they're quite good, these Germans. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, interestingly, again, we've got two, um, two units that are still okay. Had yep. one of them not done it, you would be taking a formation last stand because yep. things would have gone wobbly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you can't use rerolls from your formation commander because he's burning. Yep. Um, right, so now... I can get on to You can movement. now get on to your turn. Right. <sighs> right, this is a mess. This is an utter mess. <laughs> um, I have a feeling this army list was made to make me fail. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, so I now have a 10-inch movement available for this Panzer III that's hiding away in here. And... I'm going to do it. I'm just going to charge. This guy's going to charge up here. Unbelievable. And he's going to face off against this platoon 
here because this is it this this is all i can do <laughs> in fact I, i've got a feeling the tank commander has just hit the throat mic and said to the crew let me take you where the iron crosses grow <laughs> um in fact if any members know what film that that's that was said yeah um post your comments good probably one of the best eastern front movies you, you can ever you can ever watch <laughs> Right, um, uh, so I have two active tanks. My shooting is going to be pretty short. Uh, yeah. I now realise I've just given myself a disadvantage. I've now just put my artillery out of play. Do you know what? Let's just let you get... Well, yeah, that's a good point, actually. It is a good point. It's something that we should point out. I'm now within six inches, or you know, too close to these yeah. guys to bring the artillery Danger close. on them. Do you know what? Take that back a little bit. I'll let you want... you stop, stop a little, a little bit. So you're, you're going to let me, let yeah, me yeah, roll yeah. back a little bit. It's, so. it's spirit of the game. I mean, it's. I'm going to is... reverse him back against this wall. <clears throat> this is the whole idea of, of Flames of War. Is the yep. fact that it's um, a beer and pizza game. Get your mates around, have a game. We're not. It's, you can play in tournaments really, really well. But yep. for me, it's kind of the spirit. It's just the game's the thing because we're creating a film on the table. Yeah. In which we're the stars. So, so let let's play this out properly. So the Panzer Three was. He was back here, yeah, and he went. Let's go to where the iron crosses grow. He charged up here, rounded the corner, went. Uh oh, yeah, <laughs> too close, and then That's reversed. Too, yeah, let 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 stop. He's reversed himself up against the wall, and now yeah. he's having his last stand moment over here. Yeah, and the artillery is now hopefully free to open up on them. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Your guys haven't moved. Do I need to range in again? Uh no. Because your but your guys move. The, uh, which team are you still using the same spotting guy? Yeah, yeah let's just. Go, yeah, so now it's it's, it's just going to be the the um, you're going to hit me. Yep. So the template told us before that everybody's under. Yeah. Uh, what is danger close for the artillery? Is it four it's, inches? It's four inches. Okay. Um, but guys, if you're watching this and suddenly going onto our website to or want to order some artillery, just be a little bit careful. We all want to get rocket artillery on there, but the danger close for that is, is six, six inches. Yeah. Um, so let's just double check. My Panzer three is outside of four from the guy that was designated the target. Yeah. He, he is millimeters out, so he's okay. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to be scared. He's, yeah, he's going to be scared, <laughs> but... um, He's scared anyway. It's fine. Yeah. So artillery then. Okay. Uh, so we'll start again from the same position. So we'll start with yep. this T-34 here. I believe that's, that's a hit. A hit. Uh, the second one's destroyed, so we're going on to the platoon commander. Yeah. So a two then. What? Did I get any bonuses for? Yeah, this is this is quite interesting because with a repeat bombardment, you've got me pretty much pegged in now. Yeah. My guys are static. Um, I'm going to have to re-roll successful saves. Okay. Which is yeah, not good. So in this case, this two roll didn't hit. As far as I'm aware, unless, uh, or, or am I rolling, I am, sorry, <laughs> That's I'm, still, a, I'm still getting back into this. Yeah, so it was, it was, it's a, my, I'm two plus because I'm reckless. So of course you've, you are. Of yeah, course you so are. you've, <laughs> you've, you've hit me. Yep. Um, again. Yep. I've now got to take a save again okay. using the top armor. So um, we'll start again with this fella. So he, yeah, so he's been hit now. Yep. Now we're going to roll for the platoon commander. So you're going to roll to see if you've hit him? No, I have hit him. We rolled the two for that. We've, oh, we we've, hit, we've so hit, hit both. We've already hit this guy. Sorry, yeah. and we've just I rolled the two for this guy. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Let's let's just um, yeah roll on with it. I think we've we've been a little confused here this morning. Yes, so. Stop. Okay. Right. So I'm now going to have to re-roll any successful save. Gotcha. So both guys are hit. Both let's guys make, are let's hit. Let's make sure that's clear. We have hit both tanks. We've hit both <laughs> tanks. So he's. Gonna test first. Mm -hmm. Top armor of one. Five. To but six. I've got to re-roll that. Yeah. I hope that I don't get a one. I get a three. Yeah. Added added to one for his top it's armor. Four. So that's four. Still beats my. Yeah. My fire. So he's he's oh, cool. Platoon commander. Yep. No. Oh dear. <laughs> so he's um he's gone. Yeah. Um, and because we only had two targets in there, I couldn't do any any kind of um, swapping about. Swapping about. He's uh, that's a firepower test. Um, if you, you're probably either going to bait him I'll, or uh, kill him. I hope to kill. 
uh, firepower is three plus. Yeah. On the artillery, so most um, weapons are three plus. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, he's dead. Ah. I finally got a second um, kill. I, I don't even think actually. Let's 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 I'll see if I can violently remove the turret off. Now, this guy. before we remove the turret, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can swap. It. He's now going to see if he can get into right. another vehicle. Okay. Um, to carry on the fight. Yeah. I wouldn't get out of that vehicle under a bombardment but if the vehicle was burning. So on a three plus, which I make. Yep. He's now in the other vehicle. Okay. So I will. Yeah, so he's now in this vehicle. Yeah, he's now, he's now in the left-hand vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to stick the turret back on and yeah. check it. Um, so he's now there. This one's destroyed. He's now destroyed. So I'm, I'm collecting turrets here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that at least gives you something to think about at the start of your next turn. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, but I still have my regular shooting. Yeah, turn. yeah. So I might be able to finish this unit off. I think you could, possibly. I hope so. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> if I make a comeback of this game, this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> uh, so let's start with my Panzer IV Short, yep. um, who's over here and still has his correct line of sight to the last vehicle. Yeah. So you're hit on a two. I get two hits on him. Unbelievable. And you can't... Well, I've got, he's got nowhere to run. <laughs> yeah, he's got nowhere to run. So, so I'll roll both of these together. Yep. No, there's no, yeah, it's just firepower, for both of them, firepower to destroy, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much, so, let's just see. Yeah, three plus. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. One, yeah. one got him, so that's enough. One bailed out and one's destroyed, so he is actually dead this time. Yep. So I've now managed, yeah. majestically, <laughs> to, to get to rid of. To claw that back. Yeah. Yeah. Only just, though. Which is kind of putting me on the back foot. Um, so they're now completely gone. Yep. Now your other... Uh, My Panzer III. Uh, have I left him any targets, though? Have I left him anything that you can see? Oh. I think, pretty much, you can hit this far right-hand one. Yeah. From there, or the middle one. Or the middle one. I'm going to aim for the middle one. Okay. He has moved, so he's rate of fire one. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what happens. Three, uh, you're hit on a two. Yeah, so, so he's I've, hit. I've hit you. Yeah, and it's, I'm not going to switch it from the platoon commander because he's this platoon commander back here. One. So yep. now it's just pretty much six. Yep. So, yeah, that's safe. You're good. It's just bounced off. Right. Well, that was a bit of a hectic turn two. Yeah. I'm glad I managed to get at least the, the, the T-34s out of the way. That was quite impressive, actually. So it's on to turn three, and um, between turns, Freddie and I were discussing a couple of things. I think we'll we'll just be transparent with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. We didn't realize uh, when it comes to formations and morale that on my side, my artillery doesn't count as part of my formation. So if I start, if I've lost as much as I have, yeah. But I had failed my last man checks. Yeah. I'd have lost instantly, but yeah. because I managed to pass those, yeah, I'm still tentatively in the game so when it come when the turn comes to me yeah i have to pass those two tests again otherwise i'm finished i was going to mention it once you got to the point where one of those had yeah had failed so basically what we're saying is that one of one of those platoons that you've got left yeah if one of them becomes bailed it means that you're even though that normally you could remount the next turn yeah this time that bailed platoon because there's only one tank in it, it doesn't count, which means that the formation is going to go... Because I don't know whether this guy's still alive in that vehicle. Yeah. So it's kind of shaky ground. But meantime, the way the cards are for the Russians, we're perceiving it as the, the 76mm anti-tank company is part of your formation. Yeah. Which means I have a lot more work to do to try and beat you. Yeah. And I kind of like that. That feels very asymmetric in a way, because yes. the Russians have the advantage. You're not only the attacker... You have the big heavy stuff. You have this stuff that's involved in your formation as well. So to yeah. actually pummel you down and beat you off the table, I have to get around and start knocking out KVs. Yeah. Or knocking out anti-tank. And guns. they are the problem. The KVs are the like the, the end of level boss. Yeah. Really, because if they're heavier, they're meaner, and if you if you have problems taking them out, yeah, reducing them, you know, early on in the game, you're going to have problems later as you start to take losses. Yeah, absolutely. 
But anyway, it's now turn three. It's over to you to start and um, yeah. finish me off, probably. Well, yeah. <laughs> well I've now got no um, bail vehicles to worry about. Yep. Um, my formations are in good. My formations in good spirits mm -hmm. because I've still got two two units in play. Um, so what I'm going to do is I can pretty much um, sort that. Panzer three you can out. sort the Panzer three out, and I have a feeling that that might be the end of it. <laughs> I think it. Yeah. Um, in fact, I'm gonna. I've got two tanks. Without me moving, I've got two tanks that I can pretty much um, give you the good news with. Although I'm going to be hitting your front armor, um, yep. I think. Um, yeah, let's go for it. So I'm going to fire. So you have these two KVs here. Yeah. That are going to be laying into my my Pearl Panzer three. Yeah. Um, oh so what I'm going to do is to kind of edge my way forward, and this is where the blitz move is quite good because um, I'm going to attempt a blitz move mm -hmm. um, to gradually creep forward. So it it replicates that instead of you running down the road, you're gradually crawling forward, yeah. looking for targets. Um, much like if anyone's seen White Tiger, where they're creeping around that village looking yep. for each other, putting shots in. Um, right, so um, what I'm going to do is the, my, my skill on green. So this is a five plus. You're, you're looking at your wrong card. You're looking, oh, you're sorry, looking yeah, KVS. Yeah. My skill is, um, is a five plus. But they're pretty much for the Soviets. So yeah. Right. Oh, dear. No. Now, <laughs> this is the problem. Because um, if I fail, um, I shoot with a plus one, mm -hmm. which it, it's a gamble. So it's a five to hit me then instead yeah. of a four. Yeah. So um, it kind of, uh, you've got to think ahead yep. whether you're going to take that gamble of creeping or whether, whether you're, you're just going to, going to sit back and shoot. Yep. So we're going to fire. Um, so you've, you're, you're still firing at your full rate of fire, yeah. but because you failed, you're now firing with a five to hit instead of a four. Yeah. Okay. Which, nothing. Um, yeah. Makes me happy. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Which is great, because that's the only shooting you can do. Yes. Which is... Which is kind of, yeah. Which is, which is good for me. Um, so is there anything else you can do? Um, no, because I've got no targets with my um, anti -tank my anti tanks. Yep. Um, and these have now they've kind of shot the bolt. So it's pretty much it's going to be over to you now. There's not that much that. I, that... Yeah, absolutely. But you, I still have to pass last yeah. man checks every time. Yes. So yeah. and that's a last man check for each formate or each platoon in the formation. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, so my last stands are still three plus. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with the Panzer three. Okay. And if we feel this, nah. Uh... Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> right. Panzer three is now done. He's leaving. he's gone. He's gone. Um, which is a problem because your formation now only has one unit still active on the table. Yep. Yeah. Which um, uh, I believe it is. That's, that's the end game. That's the end of game. So, that was a quick game. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Um, it felt incredibly asymmetric. Not to the point where I felt like I was just going to lose entirely anyway, even though I did. Yeah. But the fact that my main problems was I didn't maneuver quick enough. I didn't... My first turn, I should have been moving. I should have been spreading out. I should have been using the terrain a bit more. Yeah. Instead, what I ended up doing was lining myself up in front of anti-tank guns and then lining myself up in front of KV-1s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else did I expect was going to happen? So, uh, but I still managed to claw, claw away at you. Yeah, I, I killed three tanks. <laughs> yeah. Killed three T-34s. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the hinge bit for the Soviets is really those KVs. They are an incredibly tough nut to crack, yeah. which means you have those as your linchpin in that formation. Yeah, which is incredibly important because you could, you could have quite happily thrown those T thirty fours at me and just went, it's fine. Yeah, because I know that your Panzer threes aren't really going to get through the front of me. Yes, um, the the best the Panzer threes could really do was bail you. I think. Yeah, um, yeah, because of the the anti tank of nine, 
sorry, uh, the anti tank of yeah of yeah, nine, nine against, against front armor. Against what, yeah, my front armor. Um, yep. But it kind of illustrates the way that the the, the two different armies fight. Yep. The Germans are all about manoeuvring, getting around a flank. The Soviets with those KVs, it's like, it's just an armored pillbox yep. that gradually crawls up the road. Yeah, and with that blitz move. You don't, li you don't have to be moving so far. So the Germans are trying to get manoeuvre, and the Soviets don't need it. The Soviets can just creep forward and just use their armour and shots. their positioning. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a fun one. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm, I'm annoyed that I lost, but yeah, it's fine. I will, uh, I will brush up on my Flames of War, and I will, I will um, challenge you to a remake, yes. rematch at some point. Yeah, I yeah. tend to do that with every World War II game I Let's Play. I always challenge the guy to a rematch, even yeah. if I beat them. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be done. I mean, I, yeah. I'm looking forward to the other scenery coming out, especially with infantry, yep. to probably do like Pavlov's house, mm -hmm. um, where they held out for two months, yep. um, or even the fighting around the, 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 the tractor factory. Um, it just, with the way that these, these units are now uh, configured, yep. it throws, it, it does make it cinematic, asymmetrical, as you said. Because you're kind of playing in two different ways. It's not just two people driving across a table. Yep. One's manoeuvring, and the other one's kind of armoured pillbox. Yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, that is the end of our Let's Play for Flames for Stalingrad. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, put your comments down below. If um, you want to jump into the comments and tell me how terrible my tactics were, feel free to do that as well. I will completely wear my heart in my sleeve here and just say, yeah, that was terrible. The Germans should never have done that. <laughs> uh, thank you, Freddie, for joining me on this. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks. And um, I believe we're going to do a little video after this. Yeah. Talking about where to take these two army deal boxes next. We've got some stuff that you can now even out against those, those KVs. Absolutely. So look forward to that video, guys. Stay tuned for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again very soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on. <laughs>